Welcome back to RimWorld. Today, the science continues. We've got our Sith Lord being cloned in our cloning bat there. We've still got another 20 days left on poor old crop there being rebuilt. I wanted to restructure the lab somewhat. So this is going to be more for uh, cloning, colonist storage, that type of thing. You guys have been telling me that the bioreactors, this one in particular, I did mention this briefly last episode, but it's intended for larger things like elephants, things like that, like the proper big creatures. So it's kind of a waste refueling it when we've only got people in there. So I've started building some of these smaller bioreactors. It's only like stealing components, so they're not ridiculously expensive. I'll cancel those for the time because we don't have anyone else to put in it. Turns out prisoners, we can stick into bioreactors. So if we've ever got any power issues in the future, we can capture our enemies and stick them in a, in a reactor and have them, you know, be useful for the base there. Obviously, they can't go on prison break as well. So what we could do, and this is kind of a weird idea, what we can do is put them in these vats. That way they generate power, they're easier to feed, there's no chance of them rebelling, there's no chance of them going for a prison break, or rioting, or killing one another, or anything like that. They're providing something for the colony, and then if we want to recruit them, we just take them out of this thing, and then recruit them one at a time, rather than risking the entire base with a prison break. This is a cool idea. Now, not only that, Rednax went into that mental breakdown. Rednax, now in the bioreactor, no point just having him laying around in the hospital bed when he could be doing things for the colony. So, um, I'm just decomposing this one as well, because of course we're working through room atomics. Now our next step is to build a... which one was it? We have to build a nuclear reactor now, right? So constru construct a research reactor. Colonists will need access to the reactor for experimentation. It's fine to build a reactor in secure, fireproof labs. This is pretty secure, this is pretty fireproof. I'm going to remove this thing and see if we can put it on that side. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. It's not a big deal. We'll, we'll put it somewhere else. But for the time being, we'll get rid of this one, stick it up there and sort of see how it do. A trade ship is passing by, by the way. Um, who's our best social character now? It's Amber Namba Pamba, isn't it? Or some, something along those lines. Um, it's Jeff. Jeff the scientist. Let's speak to this bulkless trader and see if we can't buy ourselves just a whole bunch of steel or something like that. Um, or a whole bunch of husky. I'm not really interested, I'll be honest. Alright then, um, I would like some more components. Actually, we've got 66 already. Shit, we really don't need it, huh? Um, what do I want to sell? We don't want the sheep wool. We don't want any of these fucking crappy wools, to be honest with you. Um, Synthread will keep. We don't really want yak wool, so we'll get rid of that one. Same with spider So We'll keep the hyper weave, because that's obviously one of the best ones. We'll sell all these leathers. I don't think they're particularly useful right now. Sell the human leather. Um, I think I did just sell the medicine, so let me go ahead and... Oh no, we haven't got any medicine. In that case, I'm going to buy all their medicine. We're trading the leather for medicine. It's costing us a little extra change on top. That's a pretty good deal as far as I'm concerned. Selling some bone ash. I don't know if we're really using the bone ash much anymore. I mean, it's a good, it's a good workable thing to just build extra buildings out of. So we'll keep that for now. Now we can rob them blind by selling them all of our ridiculous cartridges. Now, bulk goods traders tend to have a decent amount of cash. Same apply to exotic goods traders, things like that. So we're going to wipe these guys out. In fact, we'll max out how much money they... Uh, we'll, we'll max out all the sellables. So, in fact, we can get a little bit more cash out of them there. There we go. That's about that's about right like that. We'll see if they've got anything we want to buy. And we'll try and do a, do a bit more of an appropriate trade. Like, it'd be better for us to have 139 gold, which is immediately useful, rather than have a shit ton of arcade cabinets I'm never going to touch in 100 years. By the beer, uh, it's kind of useful, but not really. Good God, we have 42,000 bones. Jesus. Sell the iron wood as well. We don't particularly need that. Have you guys got anything at all? You've got, like, masterwork hats and things. Actually, that wouldn't hurt. You know, I'm just going to buy all of their random clothes here and sort of see if our people want to wanna wear those. Because I know we've got nothing but a shit ton of tattered apparel. One thing in Rimworld I really don't do enough care for is the is the sort of clothing aspect of things. Because honestly, who can be fucking bothered designing clothes to be calling this, huh? They've got tattered apparel, that's fine. At least you're not naked, huh? So what I'll do is I'll trade a bunch of video games for clothes, which is absolutely not how good boy gamers work. But on the plus side, it'll hopefully get rid of that tattered apparel debuff. And these guys are going to look incredible. We've got some really fancy hoods here. We've got carapace helmets. We've got that thing. We've got... Um, that, look, that genuinely looks like the thing from Dark Souls 3. Uh, you know, the one in Undeadburg. That's not Dark Souls 3, is it? You know what I'm talking about, though. The, the little ones who wear hoods like that. Anyway, I'm hoping these guys will put those on and that will deal with our tattered apparel problems. Could have them churn out a bunch of stuff here. I need to stop with this. I don't know why I didn't set a limit to this one. Um, don't allow clean apparel. Honestly, just, just get rid of the tainted... In fact, we don't even need to worry about getting rid of the tainted shit. Because, to be honest, we've got so many psychopaths that tainted apparel really makes no difference. We'll say anything between, like, awful and poor. Uh, that's fine. And then we'll copy that bill, and I'll do the same thing for, like, all, all of them, but for, uh, lower hit points. So if you've got something that's, like, excellent quality but only has five hit points, you don't really want to be wearing that, right? So we'll change that up to, like... Awful to excellent, and then we'll say anything below, like, 50 hit points. Just chuck that in the fucking garbage. I think it's below 50 hit points, they become tattered, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of all those as well. Otherwise, what they're going to do is, is pick up these new clothes and immediately start breaking it down. Jilp, my man, what is wrong with you? Stop that. Go put that back where you found it. Also, help me. Why is he doing this? 
Awful, oh, it's awful quality. Okay, fine, you can get rid of that one. That's my mistake for buying it in the first place, to be honest with you. But that should work. That should work definitely in our favor. They should be swapping out some clothes here and there as well. I'll have to keep a close eye on them during the next recreation time or something like that. Oh, there we go. They've already started. Krupp now looking better than ever there. A, a very horrifying Sith Lord Krupp with his very fancy hood. That's fantastic. And the maintenance on the vat is running very, very low there. Uh, Jeff, you're a scientist. Come and, come and maintain this vat very quickly. I'm glad you get a big red pop-up there saying, Hey, your vat's about to, uh, you're about to, your vat's about to fucking die. Hey, you need to do something about that. Because in the past, I've had it where these things have just straight up disappeared, right? They've just gone forever. So what I plan to do with the rest of the cash, and the reason I wanted to trade with that bulk goods trader and ensure we had enough gold, is because we're going to go to floors and we're going to build some sterile tires. I thought we hadn't researched this yet. Turns out we did it bloody ages ago when we were getting all the hospital stuff. In fact, it was probably to get this fucking thing, wasn't it? The reconditioning pod. So we'll stick down a bunch of sterile tiles throughout this entire room. How much silver is that going to set us back realistically? Um, probably not that much. Let me just double check here. Oh, hang on. Right. Got to, got to cancel it all first, Chief. Sorry, should have taken note of that first time around. Okay. Um, it's 1,700 silver that will give us a massive bonus to the speed at which these things are built. So I'm absolutely going to do that. And I'll put, put a couple down there like that too. Now, in theory, we shouldn't need to worry about doormats because we have doormats in front of every door. I'm not sure whether or not the quarry produces uh, uh, produces dirt, so we need cleaners. We might want to also put doormats in front of the lab to guarantee that really nothing is ever going to get in here. Um, I say that just so I sell all my fucking leather as well, huh? Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Research reactor. Oh, it's fucking huge as well. Actually, we can put it there. Cool. That's exactly what I wanted to do then. Um, it, hopefully, they don't need to work on it from all sides. Hopefully, it will do just like that. What do we need for that? Uh, 200 steel, 400 uranium, 35... Oh, sorry. 35 uranium, 400 silver. I'm sure we've got that much uranium. I don't think we spent uranium on anything, right? Yeah, we do. Just. Uh, 276. What was it we needed? Oh, we only need 35. Shit, it's been written. That's 250. Yeah, no, we're absolutely good then. Nothing to worry about. Let's get that done as soon as possible. Let's get this lab made sterile as soon as possible. We could also start putting some, you know, actual hospital beds in here and things like that, but it's just generally meant as a more, um, you know, this, this is this is Donitz's lab. Well, rest in peace, Donitz. When Donitz comes back to life, this will be his area. Hey, there we go. Look at that thing. Oh, it gives another 10% bonus to research speed. Oh, cool. Uh, I wonder if that's just specifically for the Remus Thomas research bench, whether it works the same as multi-analyzers. Can't really tell. Um, it doesn't have, you know, like when you place down a multi-analyzer, it has that connection point. You can sort of see that outline there. Um, we don't have that with this one, by the looks of it. Uh, oh, no, hang on. Yeah, no, it has to be adjacent to this. I'm hoping it counts there. It looks like it might not, actually. Ah, fuck. Um, I hope that's not the case. It, it doesn't say inactive, though, which would kind of imply to me that it is working as intended. Um, it's kind of difficult to tell. If we put it there... Yeah, I don't think that's working at all at that distance, is it? Um, although saying that, it is one block over. Yeah, you know, I think that's fine. Let's not worry about it for the timing. Step complete. There we go. All right, so now we've got to research and train seven intellectuals. So we've got to learn how to use this fucking reactor now, then. Let's go back into room atomics. I've been told that this mod is really, really cool. And to me, it looks really cool. It looks like a sort of, um, natural background mission system, if you want to look at it like that. It, it's, it might be something I always play with in the future. Right, research and train. Install reactor control software. And perform set training exercises. What? Okay, so what do we do? Then we take Jeff and right-click on that. There we go. All right, it's perfect. And then we just have him do that forever, maybe? Um, where are you, Jeff? What the fuck are you wearing? Why did you get that raincoat? All right, uh, is that is that how we do it? I guess we've just got to do that until it's completed then. Uh, yes, it is working. Okay, that's awesome. I really like this one. Apparently, the energy weapons are super, super OP. Um, and we definitely want to go for those. Is that a fucking ICBM? What the hell is that? Oh my god, look at these weapons. Hell, Punisher, what is that thing? Obelisk, I have no idea. Marauder, these just look like gigantic, like, turrets, essentially massive weapons. Good lord. Oh, it's glowing more and more. Oh, this is cool, I like it. Well, the research is coming along quite like nicely. It is taking friggin' ages, though, and these guys are starting work on the hospital there as well. It's, it's taking quite a long time for this also. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel the sterile tiles, just get them stripping out the floor first, otherwise it's going to take them six times as long. Right, little Jeff, let's go and see what this exotic good trader's got. And just again, a way of selling any of these cartridges I'll absolutely take. These cartridges we've had since the start of the freaking game. So just being able to get rid of them will be quite nice, I think. Um, okay, so what we're looking at here, sell these shells, because I don't plan on using those anytime soon. Um, sell that shell as well, not quite the same thing, though. Uh, we've got lots of mage spells that aren't particularly useful. Necromancer spell, Litron, I'm a little bit late for that one, team. Um, what do we want to do with these lightsaber crystals? I have not seen anybody, to my knowledge, who are Force-sensitive. I mean, I haven't been looking for it, I will admit, but that's really strange. Um, right, okay, so sell them all of these garbage, unless we want to keep the body parts. You know, let's keep the body parts. We, we, we might always need body parts, right? Advanced Barnacle, 3,000. Oh, what, what, that's ours. We've already got that one. Um, simple Animal Spy. We never want any of this shit, to be honest. Uh, Power Claw, not really necessary. Barnacle can not take one off, though, if you've got a copy of that. Thank you. Um, yeah, this is all ours. What's a Pain Inducer? 
Uh, frequent panic attacks and anxiety attacks. That's very, very cool. I think we need to install that on every single prisoner forever. Right, um, give me all that gold as well. Oh, we got the perfect number. How can I buy more gold with that? We're trading video games for gold. Never in a hundred years would I do that, team. I'm a, tr I'm, a tr I'm a true epic gamer. I drink bath water. All right, there we go. Let's get that shit into the stockpile right there. Thank you. Now, we really should be doing this. I, th I think I will save all of it. I know I should be installing some of it, at least. What have we got here? Barnet Hand. Um, we got Power Claw as well. Um, I mean, I really want to give Bonnet a power claw. Just a lich with, like, wolverine claws I think would be fucking horrifying. I'm not sure his body can take it, though. We're saving a lot of it for Krupp and Krupp's new body, and I will have to strip all the old implants off of old Krupp's body as well Um, before we transfer his consciousness over. This is so much quicker. Thank God I removed these first, huh? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stick around for a while, because I'm not entirely sure what we've got doubled up or what Krupp can take. You know, we might surprise ourselves. You might be able to have some weird combination of Barnacle Arm plus Power Claw. I doubt it, but just in case it's d we do, I won't, you know, I won't mess around with that yet until we know he's ready. Speaking of which, how long until he's ready? Uh, we're looking at a grand total of, oh god, the room's fucking filthy right now, huh? Um, we're looking at a grand total of 18.9 days, but when this is built, in theory, it should take a lot less time, because of course the cleanliness is going to increase as we put down these tiles. Uh, have we researched actual hospital beds yet? We have! Alright, sweet. So let's put down a couple of these, too. Um, I guess we put down a plasteel hospital. I really don't care what we're building now, but I don't think either gives a particular... particular beauty bonus, does it? Or, or a particular cleanliness bonus. We'll put out of steel for the timing. Although, we do have absolutely heaps of plasteel. Like, we have heaps of the fucking stuff. We, I don't think we actually have any steel, do we? Uh, yeah, look, we've got 2,500 plasteel and 900 steel. So for us right now, I'm building a fucking plasteel hospital bed. You'd assume that would confer some sort of... I mean... It doesn't, as far as I know, but you would kind of assume that would make it a little bit cleaner, huh? Let's do down a couple of those, then. Um, and we'll hook those up to... Oh, man, a vital center. Oh, my God, we can... Oh, I thought that was connected up to that, then. No, it's absolutely not the case. Um, we want to put that basically in the middle of the room, then. And then this place is going to look like a proper hospital. It's going to be awesome. Right, let's put that there. Um, we also want Vitals Monitors. Oh, I don't have the wall Vitals Monitors mod. That sucks. I don't know if you can connect up to a Vital Center and a Vitals Monitor, but we can always give it a go, huh? Um, I'm going to put that... Shit, this room's not big enough, huh? Um, we'll put it, we'll put it over here, that's fine. That might be able to connect to both beds. I have no idea. We're gonna stick that there. And then we also need an IV drip, which I assume we can put there and it'll connect up to both beds. And then we also won't need to, uh... Hopefully we won't need to build one on either side. It works with both adjacent beds. It might only connect to one, at which point we'll have to build another. But we got room for that anyway. It's not such a big deal. Right, this is gonna be the hospital of our dreams. It's gonna be so fucking cool in here when it's done. This big old vitals monitor station. I kinda want it on the other wall, just because it'll look cooler. I kind of want it, like, over there, but then obviously it won't connect up to the beds anyway. It doesn't matter too much. Right, cool. So we finished the next step of the, uh, of the nuclear power. Right, okay. Nuclear power. Here we go. Oh, God, look at how complex this shit gets, huh? Research nuclear reactors. Seven intellectual. Fine. Experiment with research reactors. High risk. That sounds absolutely incredible. Build a reactor core. Build a turbine generator. Connect reactor to turbine. What was this fucking... What was that Minecraft mod where you got, like, um, blue... It was, like, that, that blue right stuff, and then you build, like, big old turbines. I forget what it is, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Yeah, let's, let's absolutely get on with it. Um, start project. I think I only just purchased it, then. I didn't realize it didn't also start. So, plutonium. Cool. I guess we're gonna do something with uranium as well. Increases the speed of control rods. This increases the responsiveness of flux level changes and increases the shutdown speed. Great. That sounds incredible. Just what I need to worry about. Micromanaging literal nuclear reactors. Perfect. Alright, there we go. Hospital is basically done. Um, so it just affects the room, I would assume, then. Um, fetching chance multiplier for room 32% is very, very good, huh? Um, that's cool. This is a, this is a good little hospital. It means to gain speed plus 20%. Let's look at the actual room stats. I know I don't do that very often when I see this one. Very impressive, luxurious, very spacious, ugly. 0.1 beauty. Oh, because they, they haven't finished the floor, floor yet, and it counts as sterile. 0.61 by comparison, like our regular room. 0.29, 0.41. That's very good. Nice work. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, what that does is it reduces the amount of maintenance we have to do on these clone vats. So you can see that the multiplier is 0.32. That means that only a, a third of the time it would have normally been, and a third of the time it was just towards the end of the last episode and the start of this one, will be the amount of time they have to maintain it, which means our researchers are free to do uh, nuclear tinkering. I'll be honest, though, we're going to do a little bit of nuclear tinkering, which could be horribly, horribly dangerous. But hey, I'm glad I built a lab now big enough to accommodate that shit, because we can get rid of all this garbage. This was intended to be a storage for herbal medicine, so we're going to put that in there then. All right, uh, we could also move this fucking thing to, like, over here. That would kind of make some sense, I think, because then we've got this whole area ready to build fucking nuclear reactors or whatever else. I might even smooth this off, do like a big old wall like that instead so we don't have to fuck around with it. And that way we've got all this area too. I think that's a better plan. All right, let's do that. Move this fucking garbage sculpture into the hospital just to cheer them up a little bit.
Let's just buy an absolute shit ton of resources. We've got 40,000 silver. It doesn't matter what they turn up with, unless they turn up with some sort of, like, legendary sky steel masterwork sculpture, whatever else is. I mean, I can't think of anything that would cost us this much gold, so we might as well swap out for resources, is what I'm thinking. So we'll buy a bunch of plastic, a bunch of silver, a bunch of... I don't really even need bone ash, either. Shit. I'm struggling to think of things to buy here. Um, I bought all that medicine to sell down some other garbage. We'll buy the components. Yeah, that's a good idea. Give me, give me that shit. Guy, let me take all of this off your hands, my friend. So it's going to cost us 10k. That's leaving us with a quarter of our money left. And I think we're getting some pretty decent stuff out of this too. Uh, we'll take the gold. That, did I genuinely not buy that gold? Oh god, I said that as a joke, but I might have completely forgotten. All right, that'll do it. Okay, thank you, team. I like I said, I think. These nuclear reactors seem very expensive, and it's better for us to have tangible resources than just a gigantic stack of silver. Why is no one harvesting our crops? Um, oh, because they're not grown. Right, shit. Yeah, uh, what's the temperature? Zero degrees. It is spring, though, so we can actually... Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that tomorrow. What are we looking at in terms of plants, then? Because I kind of would have assumed they'd be able to go at least get one harvest in. Um, Newt and Amba Damba Damba should be working the fields. I'm just going to make those guys definitely prioritize that. Um, same thing with Igor as well. We'll just make sure that those guys are keeping the food stocked up. And we've got 103 days, and it doesn't seem to be changing at all. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the amount of food we've got. It's not like it's a worry or anything. Um, yeah, we're good. Nothing to worry about there. So, how are we looking on crop? That's right. Another 16.6 .6 fucking days. Good God. This is going to take a long time. I'm thinking we start cloning Igor. I, th I think we'll just start cloning Igor in advance here. Now, I should point out, I have talked about this before in an episode, but I talked about it briefly for only like 30 seconds, so it's, it's understandable that some people might have missed it. I know about the paladins. I know about the priests. I know about the whatever it is that resurrects people using magic. Uh, we can't really guarantee, though, getting ourselves a paladin, can we? Uh, to my knowledge, the way it works right now, at least the last time I played it, this was true, with Room of Magic, the only way to get certain classes is to randomly roll the dice. Unless you've already got one of those classes in your colony, you just have to basically get lucky when training someone and getting them to write a new skill book. So, oh, nice, good work. Shit, that took uh, less time than I thought here. We've now got to experiment with nuclear reactors, huh? How do we do that? Uh, I guess we just, we just send Jeff into, ah, fuck. Um, I'm kind of tempted, and I don't ever, ever do this in RimWorld, so credit for the mod to make me do it. Oh, what's that thing? Oh, gives a small boost to research benches nearby, and it keeps the area clean. Ah, nice. Okay, stick a couple of those down in here, then. Um, we'll also put one in this area as well. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is, I never normally do this. Let's build some, like, smoke pop, what are they called? Like, the, the fire suppressant, uh, research. I'm gonna get that done first, just in case this goes horribly wrong and the whole base goes up in smoke. So, fire foam, I assume, is the research. Yeah, I've never actually done this. Oh my god, I want auto doors as well. Yeah, turn off the experimental reactor for the time being, at least until we've got this fire suppressant down. I, I feel like, I'm starting to think, I should have built a whole new lab for this. I'm starting to think that this isn't suitable for, for our, our goals, you know, all of this sort of crammed together, all this expensive and very difficult to replace machinery just in one side of the room. What I'm thinking of doing is, is moving this stuff over to like the center of, of the room here. Can we just reinstall it? Oh, we can't, we'd have to build a whole new one, that's quite expensive. Um, can we reinstall, we can reinstall multi analyzers so we could build another research bench like over at this side of things. Now, Rednax, you are other researcher, shall I pull you out of the... How are we doing in terms of power then? We're absolutely good on power, right? I'm going to pull Rednax out of the reactor so that Rednax can at least stop going on his mental breakdown because I don't think he's got a chance to do that inside a bioreactor, understandably, really. Uh, now we've got an actual hospital as well to look after him in. He'll probably, you know, not be freaking out so much. And plus, we can we can get all of our colonists healed up. So let's carry you to the... Uh, let's rescue you. There we go. Right. Welcome. How are you doing? Uh, crypto sleep. Sickness and catatonic breakdown. We've just got to wait for it to stop. That's all we can do. Now, I don't know if being in the reactor might have reset the timer on that. Or whether it is purely random. I guess we'll just wait and see. But the second we get this guy back, this research is going to take so much less time. And I wonder if two people... Oh, well, there we go. He's back already. One thing I wanted to know is whether or not two people can simultaneously work on the reactor and really speed up this room atomics research. I wonder how many of these we can connect up to the research bench. Because by the looks of it, we could put a whole bunch down. And especially as they're linkable too, makes me think that we could put down a shit ton of these and it would just give bonuses to it all around. I'll reinstall this into here because apparently this room is really, really boring and dull to look at. Kind of understandable, really. It is full of literally like bioreactors and cloning vats. So we'll, we'll try and spruce this place up a little bit. There we go. Does that affect the cleanliness at all? Having like a big old fucking flower in there, is that just going to make it... No, 0 0.2 beauty. There's nothing draining it, but there is nothing adding to it either, so that's kind of understandable. Do you have any, like, big sculptures lying around? Small sculpture, poor. Um, what's that thing? I want to see the quality of it. Normal. Okay, and what, what beauty does that give? 190. You know what? If there's room for it, I'm going to install it. That's really not. You don't really want to wake up. 
after being cloned or come out of a bioreactor and have that fucking thing staring you down either. So maybe maybe we can wait on that. Have we got a decent artist that I could uh no, Rednax. Rednax is four out of twenty. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not going to be doing that one. Thank you. All right, don't worry about it too much. Then I was. I was just wanted to try and spruce the place up a little bit. That's all. Try and make it not so fucking like brutalist and horrifying to look at. Um, okay, get rid of that one. That's garbage. We can, we might as well install this somewhere, right? It's no point just having it lying around doing nothing. We'll stick it in the workroom. I think they do. I think they do link to it. If that's true, that's extremely OP. <laughs> that's like insanely overpowered. Um, we'll have to keep a close eye on that because I think that might be a little broken. Because uh, you could literally just surround all of these, build like a massive room filled with these fucking things. Because they, they're definitely linked to it. And they don't say inactive either. That's so peculiar. Like these ones say inactive, but we're just doing those ones for the, for the, obviously the beauty bonus. Uh, oh, sorry, the cleanliness bonus. That could be super OP. Anyway, we won't worry about it too much, because our, our research speed is already pretty good. I don't want to, you know, basically build a whole room of them just blitz through to the end game. That that would be kind of ridiculous, I think. Right, so with this stuff then, how much can we reinstall? None of it. Of course we can't. That would be absurd. Um, ah, shit. I want to I wanna put this somewhere else. I really do. Or at least move this stuff around a little bit so it's a bit neater. Um, we can put that one there. I mean, it's only 250 and 10. Because I know we're going to have to build, from the looks of it, at least at least judging by this fucking thing, we're going to have to build a pretty significant area for all this room atomic stuff. To the extent that I'm kind of thinking we remove this, we'll move this entirely to somewhere entirely fucking different, like over here, for example. God, this I need to plan this out better, because the amount of times I've deconstructed and constructed these frigging comms consoles. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we'll stick down a room atomic research bench to this side, and then this area can be authorized personnel only. Can it still link up outside of the... through the wall? It looks like it has to be, like, actually adjacent to it, which is kind of a shame, but we could build it on... just, like, remove this wall. Does it count as a wall, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't matter too much. So I have, like, an authorized personnel only area in this zone. We could even lock the doors if we really wanted to be that technical with things, but obviously I want people to be able to go in and clean it if that's necessary. Um, let's stick down then auto doors just basically friggin' everywhere. Bone auto doors, probably gonna be fairly speedy, I imagine. Um, oh, you can't replace them, shit. Uh, okay, fine. Let's just go ahead and just remove all. Remove all. Goodbye, doors. Nice knowing you. What about these ones as well? Get out of here, doors. The only ones I want to keep for the time being are the ones on the freezer so that we don't lose any heat going through there. And then I'll just very quickly remove absolutely fucking every door in the base and rebuild them okay second reactor is basically built i'm so glad i bought all those resources now from all those ships like i said I was, what the fuck's going on with oh right jump's jump's gonna go eat jeff thank you joe i didn't realize he was allowed to attack our own colonists i thought it sent him to prisoners only um did i really change that who knows now, one thing I've, I've been neglecting the past few episodes is leveling up every single one of our colonists. We must have a shit ton of points saved up across all of our wizards and everything. So I'll have to check that out in a second, too. Right, this is much cooler. This gives us a big area to work with. What we'll do is we'll brick over this door as well. Um, just to, you know, just, just to show that it's all separate areas. This is a cool little lab area. I'm pretty happy with that now. All right, let's build doors absolutely fucking everywhere, then. Let's, let's get all these bedrooms separate. This is going to take a lot of components. So I'm going to be somewhat careful. Like, like, last time I had, like, doors in weird places, like, across these corridor entrances, things like that. I'm not going to bother this time. We're just going to build it to actually separate the physical rooms. Everything else I don't really care about. So we want to separate that off because that's, you know, cathedral. Might want to separate this off because it's recreation room. Same with the entrance area. Same with the dining room. Jump's bedroom there. The prison. Okay, we'll build another wall. I don't know why the hell we're missing that. Uh, and then obviously kitchen area too. Like I said, just to get a separation between the rooms is the only reason I'm going to build all these fucking doors. Might want to separate that off because it counts as a corridor rather than... That way this will count as a, a recreation area if that makes sense. Um, but that doesn't need separating off because again that's all part of the same thing. Cool. Um, pretty happy with that then. I don't think there's anything else I need to sort of fuck around with here, is there? Uh, might want to put that there. Otherwise this entire corridor counts as the lab too. So we'll do something like that. There we go. That's, that's decent. I like that. Undead Eagle, let's sequence your genome and scan your brain as soon as possible so that we can get you on oh, and we need to recondition her first, don't we? Uh, right, turn that back on. Let's recondition Eagle so that she is not an undead. So don't bother with the brain scan. It's unnecessary. Then we need to remove the trait from, well, or Bonnet's control over her. Right, there we go. Uh, owned by Krupp. How do we, can we, can we not do that? Oh shit, you have to have a dedicated pod. Fuck, okay, that's a bit ridiculous, but that's fine. Um, right, in that case, Jill, let's get you working on that as soon as possible. Let's start this clone as soon as possible, because these things take days and days and days and days to build, and I don't want to waste any more time with this. So how are we doing with the whole Rim Atomics thing? Are we still are we still doing that research? What's going on? Um, uh, maybe I've got to restart it, because I removed the... There we go, start, start project, boom. Okay, so now they should automatically go and work on that. Now, what I wanted to know, if two of them were capable of working on the same thing at the same time. So Redneck researching a generator, making genome sequencer. Okay, that seems, that seems a reasonable job for a scientist, I will admit. Only one of them can work at the reactor at a time. Ah, that's a little annoying. Um, 
Not a big deal. Oh, Psychic Drone High Mail sucks. What if we have one of them doing like... So this is like Donitz's area. Nerve stapling allows you to put like bionics into you and, and change your genetics around. Sure, I guess we could go with that. Uh, high cost brain implant at the machining table that stimulates. That's cool. Uh, and then you get like rib replacement. They get cybernetic organisms. That's very, very cool. Should we start working on that? Work on that alongside... Uh, maybe they can... Oh, they can both work on it. Oh, uh, okay then, never mind. Well, we'll have that as a backup research, and we're not doing the nuclear research. They could be researching how to turn our people into, basically, bio-machines. Oh, shit. Facilities broken down during research. Well, that could have ended a lot worse, I think. Jesus, that high psychic drone is killing us. Um, we might need to get a tailor, because I didn't realize they were kind of at ratty apparel levels, which is pretty bad. Uh, so what we want to do, then, is clear all this shit. Let's make a bunch of super high-quality clothing. Um, I mean, we can make just the prison jump. I like the prison jumpsuits simply because they give a work speed bonus. We can get everybody outfit in those, and then they can't complain that they've got ratty clothing. Plus, it, as you see there, global work speed plus 25% is massive. That's huge. Um, actually, that's kind of OP. Sure, let's do it. Fuck it. It's OP. I don't mind. Right, uh, how many do I need to build them? One, two, how many have we got? Ten people. Ten. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Let's turn the bench back on. We've got to be careful with our power now, because we are draining 2,000 watts by having both these enabled at once. Uh, 2,000 watts apiece, I should say, for a total of 4,000. Let's get this thing back on. Who's our best tailor? It's got to be Jop at this stage, right? The man's made so much shit. All right. Okay, it's still... Amba, namba, damba, pamba. It's always amba, namba, damba, damba, pamba. Um, right. Okay, in that case, my friend, congratulations. You're in charge of making... One per colonist. There we go. Okay, plus plus X. No, I don't want to plus any fucking X. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Right, so 6 out of 10. Do we really have 6 out of 10? They are good quality as well. Right, you know what? Fuck this. We're gonna, I'm going to restrict them. I'm going to restrict them a little bit. And that way we can also have like armor, shit like that as well. Um, I'm going to say anything. We're going to edit the worker. So select worker. Clear all. Let's go uh, jumpsuit. There you go. Prison jumpsuit. Boom. And then we'll just change them all over to worker. That's surely not going to cause any issues. Only except like backpacks as well, I guess, and headgear and shit. But for the time being, we'll see if that solves some of that apparel issues. You guys need to be healed up as well. Thank you very much. All right, let's see see if the, see if that do. Jilt, what the fuck have you put on your head, you weird man? What the hell is that? He's turned into a horrible ant beast of a. What if uh, does Warform wear the helmet? I'm going to assume it doesn't. Oh my god, Crop looks incredible. Tell me, Crop does not look everything you ever imagined him to look like. Holy shit, that's fantastic. He's a he's a skeleton Sith Lord with a lightsaber and a top hat. My god, this is Rimworld, everybody. This is prime Rimworld right here. We've got Bonnet Bigley, the Lich Lord with his Cthulhu Lask. We've got Jilp, the Warform Vampire Lord with his Ant Helmet. And then we've got Krupp with a top hat. This is fun. And then we've got, more importantly, Twilight in a prison jumpsuit. And then I just noticed Abba Dabba Pamba, who's apparently joined the clan. That's incredible. This is, this is fantastic stuff right there. Has no one fixed that fucking reactor yet? My god, who's lounging around? Jilp. Hey, Jilp, you're now on re you're, you're now on repair. My god, man. If there's anyone who should be on repair, it's absolutely Jilp. Jilp, why are you sleeping in there, my man? That's not your bedroom at all. Oh, the power's out. Shit. Oh, god, please, 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 please fix this problem. Oh, my god, the power's out, which means it needs constant maintenance. Look at how fast it's dropping. Uh, keep that clone alive. Never leave. Oh, shit, what the fuck am I going to do? Why is there no power? How is it draining this fast? Okay, grid excess. We're fine. We're, we're in. We're good. We're back. No, we're still not. Oh my god, please, 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 come back on. There we- Oh, it's on briefly. What the fuck is using up all this power all of a sudden? Um. Oh, I did turn on the- Did turn on the fabrication manager. That's only 251. So you, you kidding me? We, we, we were exactly two. I suppose all the doors as well. All of the auto doors. That's like 50 watts times however many of those fucking things are built as well. Okay. Um. <sighs> shit, I didn't really consider that, did I? Right, go and turn that off. But we've also turned this off, which should be another 2,000 watts in the grid. I don't know what's caused that. I guess just the wind turbines. No, they're still good. Um, your guess is as good as mine at this stage then, friends, because I have absolutely no clue. Building this many auto doors would not have cut the power that quickly, especially now that we've turned this off. And I've disabled all the benches too. Uh, maybe these wall lights drain more energy than they're letting on. I have, I have no explanation for this at all. Get the vitals monitors off. I mean, we don't need them right now. Get this off too. We don't need that one either. Thank you. Okay, how are we looking now? We're, we're barely breaking even. We've got, still got the rolling brownouts. Uh, well, that's a big deal. Uh, that's like an actual major concern. All right. Um, I still think we could probably just about fit one of these in somewhere, right? That's going to that's gonna be blocked by the mountain. It's not worth it. Shit. Uh, what about what about the generator? The generator's still on. We can put down a couple more chem fuel generators. How much chem fuel have we got right now? Shit tons of the stuff. Right, stick down another generator or two then. Oh, God, we haven't got enough components. 
Probably because I spent it all on a million doors. Okay, um, ignore the doors. Fuck the doors. We don't need the doors for the time being. Let me think. Um, okay, okay, get rid of that. We don't need that either. Get that shit out of here. Right, um, <laughs> I've spent all my components rebuilding these workbenches over and over and over. It's not much of a surprise, is it? Uh, okay, fine. Kind of a concern, but not really. Oh, 10 components stored in there. We do need that conditioning pod to clone Eagle, but we don't have the power to clone Eagle anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Start working on these. Go and get this done, my friend. Jesus Christ, get these components built as soon as possible, and then get this shit fueled. That's another, that's a good few watts. That's another, like, 2,000 watts right there. Come on. That's gonna break us even, surely. Still. Still no. Oh, no, this is bad. Okay, right, it's spring. It's spring. You don't need heaters in spring. What fool needs it? Turn those up. 16 heaters. My God. And each one is draining, what, 175 watts? Well, there you go. That's another, like, many. That's another many watts you got going on right there. I'm not doing the maths. What do you think I am? If I, was, if I was good at maths, I wouldn't be on YouTube. Right, there we go. Look at that. Problem solved. We're back on. We've just got to keep the batteries going enough to last us through the night. During the daytime, we've got enough power to last us a fucking lifetime. What we need is enough to get us through the night, though. Um... Maybe a couple more batteries. Is there any, like, more advanced battery? Because it might be better to get that rather than a fucking neural network, huh? That's really not. Shit. Okay, that's that's why you need, like, glitter tech or something. Right, let's sit down a couple more, then. We'll sit down the, the, the base game batteries for the time being, at least, uh, just a little bit more. Well, thank you for watching. That was bloody close. We almost lost crop then. We were down to like 16%, so I'm glad we were able to avoid that. Otherwise, that would have set us back literally like 25 days. So, what a pain in the ass. Thank you. This is good. I'm really happy with the lab. I'm really, I really I like the look of Rim Atomics. I think when we get there, this is going to be fantastic. And they're, they're, they're still working on that right now. Tomorrow, we'll dive in into it. Hopefully, we can build this fucking nuclear reactor tomorrow. That's my goal for that one. Just so we can at least buy ourselves... A day or two of power, at least, if nothing else. That way we can get both generators going. Bring back Eagle, bring back Krupp. Try and find a way to resurrect Donuts. This is going to be fantastic. Let's give, speaking of fantastic, a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons of the Twitch series, this channel, and these garbage names that we've had this episode wouldn't be possible in the first place. A big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sidini, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Donald, Fukuno Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Josh Lendine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Katie Carter, Michael Mullen, Mr. Smug, Muskratful, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Skaz, Shayuch Sinclair, Sir Thor the Swede, Sa Stannis the Manis, The Forsaken One, Toby Cruz, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kennel, and Vacuous Backers. Thank you for your support and insanity loves on Patreon. Thank you for making the series possible in the first place. It's most appreciated. And not to be forgotten as well, we have Asro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson, Ben Trope, Betsy Max, Betsy Valerian, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 27, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gray, Haji Jamal, Hancock, Icy the Grey, Irish, Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Jason, Jose, Yoran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Lemon Start, Les Me, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Monty, Nathaniel Limburg, Na Nahiel -na Risen, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panthapel, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wolfie, Yorker, Sicko, and Zach Pillar. Thank you. See you guys all tomorrow for... I mean, let's be honest, it's probably going to be the end of the base. It's probably going to... I'm going to melt a hole through the earth itself.